just at face value, but face the facts. FaceView TV continues to provide Caribbean entertainment and advertising. What a Welcome back to another exciting week on FaceView TV. This week on FaceView TV, we're in Connecticut. We're going to be viewing Denroy Morgan. Denroy Morgan, as you know, is a father of Morgan Heritage. He's a bishop in Harlem. I'll do anything for you, boss. As you know, I'll do anything. You know, I'm not a singer. I can't sing it. But take a look. Nothing in the world that I won't do. I'll give the world to you if you want me to. I'll do anything. I'm nothing in the world that I won't do. I'll give the world to you if you want me to. I'll do anything. So now, I want you to follow me. I want you to follow me on Facebook this week. We're going to go into the house of Mr. Denroy Morgan. As you know, Ras Morgan, that's his new name, Ras Morgan. So on Face TV this week, we're all the way in Connecticut to speak with Mr. Denroy Morgan, to view his lifestyle. As you know, Mr. Denroy Morgan is the founder of I'll Do Anything For You, that great song back in the 80s. Mr. Morgan is also the parent of the great Morgan Heritage. As you see, they got a Grammy the other day. So he's been mentoring over the years the gems and pioneers to be you know, just like himself. This week on Face TV, uh, Mr. Morgan is going to share with us his uh, religious ideals, He's going to talk about his new album. He's going to talk about his involvement in his kids' life and how it has helped them to develop and to become what they are today. I want you to clarify. Let us know, for those of us who are not sure, you know, are, are you a Rastafari or a Christian? How do you differentiate? Because we, 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 we've, uh, we, we, we've come to believe that it's two separate movements. So first of all, tell me, do you think it's two separate movements? And if so, which one are you? First of all, I would like to greet each and everyone in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Yeshua, the Elohim, the Son of the Living God. I would also like to greet you in the name of His Imperial Majesty, Emperor Ayala Selassie I, King of Kings and Lord of Lords, Conquering Lion of the Tribe of Judah, Jah Rastafari. Now, in my faith, I see myself as an Israelite. Right. Cha -cha. I see myself as a Christian. Why? Because I believe in the birth, the crucifixion, the resurrection, the teaching, mm -hmm. and the example of Jesus Christ. Oh. Cha -cha. But in spirit and in truth do we worship the God who sent him. In spirit and in truth. Mm -hmm. Now that requires understanding. Correct. Not based on religion, but mm -hmm. based on tradition. Cha -cha. Correct. Rastafari. So... I am a Christian right. because of that understanding of Jesus Christ. Right. I am an Israelite mm -hmm. because I am of the covenant of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Correct. Correct. I am a Rastafarian because I believe in the divinity of his imperial majesty, Emperor Ailes Selassie I, right. King of kings and lord of lords, conquering lion of the tribal Judah. I believe that he is Christ in his kingly character mean God manifest in flesh. Cha -cha. Mm. So my understanding of Christianity, mm. Judaism, mm -hmm. Rastafarian, mm -hmm. is one mm -hmm. under the covenant of Abraham, mm -hmm. Isaac, and Israel. It's mm -hmm. religion and mm -hmm. it's paganism mm -hmm. and Romanism mm -hmm. that cause a young, bright young man like you not to know <laughs> that it is the same. Right, right. Cha -cha. So, okay, so basically you're saying that um, Society segregate them and separate them, but they should be separated. Religion. Religion. Religion okay. separate them. Okay, so you would say it's okay to be a Christian and a Rastafari, you know. It, it, it is one. 
The Rastafarian are the most zealous set of Christian. That's why we seek to find the truth. We are the equivalent of the Nazarite of ancient times. So let me ask you now, because this is what sometimes, you know, uh, distinguish. Um, all right, now, do you believe in an afterlife? Do you see it as traditional Christians say? I they believe have... in everlasting life. All right. Ta -ta. So what happened after we, we leave this earth? I never leave this earth. So I can't tell you what happened. <laughs> right, I like that. Okay, so obviously you never, you never leave this earth, so you can't say what happened. Blessed so, is he that seeth not what yet believe. Naturally. So what do you believe? What happened after this life? I believe that there is a God. There is mm -hmm. a creator of right. all things. Right. And that he has given man dominion over all things. Mm -hmm. If we are going to be obedient and be fully mature to take responsibility to be godly. Mm -hmm. Cha -cha. Wow. Very deep. Tell me about the church. Tell me about, um, are you seeking members? Uh, do you have deacons or missionaries? First of all, tell me. When Christ, after I'm baptized, I go up into the mountains and come back. And yes. Ready to do his ministry. Right. As I am ready to do my ministry since 1975 until now. Right. I got a calling. Right. And within that calling, I live a life. Right. Cha -cha. And the result of that life I live mm -hmm. is my children that you're referring to, those that you know. Right. But there is many more. Right. And there is yes. a lot to <laughs> live in that way for 42 years as a Rastafarian, as right. a Christian, as mm -hmm. an Israelite, and maintain my identity. Mm -hmm. Cha -cha. Again on Facebook TV this week is Mr. Denroy Morgan. As you know, if you've been following Caribbean icons, you would know who Mr. Morgan is. Left Jamaica many years ago and came here, embarked in a musical career with the Black Eagles, and then he went on to launch one of the biggest songs of all time, I'll Do Anything For You. Today we're in his mansion, and he's telling us about his religious affiliations and um, his involvement with the, in the church in Harlem and, and, and all of the good stuff. Uh, Mr. Morgan is a father of many. Uh, that, that's correct. That's correct. A father of many, and it's over 30. Uh, Not over. 30. 30. 30, 30, 30 children. 30 yes. children. Okay. Our viewers want to know, uh, Mr. Morgan, when, when did you change your life completely? When have you started? When would you say, because we know that we, we saw it sometime in the world, I would do things and, you know. Right. 1975, when, I got a call in, you see? Right. Where I had two baby mothers. Right. That I love very much. And they both <laughs> became my wife. Oh. Where we live as husband and wife, not just as baby father and baby mother, but a standard. Right, where? In here in the US or? It starts from Jamaica. Okay. okay. We're talking about what's happening in the US. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One of the members of the Black Eagles, Jati, look at me one day and see how stressed I was. Right. And said, Jay, if you're being pulled to the east, you're being pulled to the west, you're being pulled to the north and the south, what do you think I go up to you? I said, go bust up. So I think about that, see? And when I thought of it, I saw what I just explained to you right. in my life. And I seek guidance. Because mm. my parents couldn't guide me into this journey further than they have guided me. Mm -hmm. They guide me to the point where I had to take responsibility for the rest of my guidance mm -hmm. as an adult now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, his imperial majesty spoke to me. Right. I had to go through a process. Mm -hmm. I went into three days fasting. <laughs> three days fasting from food, herb, sleep with a man, everything. Right. That was personal satisfaction for me. Right. I hear a voice saying inside of me, I am the conquering lion. Try to try about you know. that. I am. Um, and that happened after my mother called for church bedroom and sister to come and pray for me. And I say, I'm not going to stay there for it. So I go through the backyard at uh, Sudam Street and uh, Wilson Avenue mm -hmm. and walk all the way up to Jefferson Avenue and Nickabaka Avenue. And while I was walking that journey, mm -hmm. I'm hearing that voice inside of me. And I'm seeing the vision of the head. Just the head. Nobody. Just the head of His Majesty. White. 
beard and everything white. Mm. And that voice, I never stopped hearing that voice. Right. So from that time, I mm. heard that voice. Right. I am yeah. the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. Mm. And I saw the image, I beginning to follow his majesty. I see it's a 100% Jamaican black castor oil, coconut oil, mango, butter. What you know? That all sound good to me. <laughs> so I would like to hold on to this battle oh, for no. myself, no, for see. my dreadlocks. No, you see? see? <laughs> but you can't hold it for me no. until I, I will finish the interview. You, you see, uh, Whitney, House, House of Natural. Natural. Get your copy. Get your copy. Ja, Rastafari. Whether you are bald, whether you are creamy, whether yeah. you are dreadlocks, House of Natural is all good for right. you. Well, yeah. I have to borrow it back in. This is, this is my copy. Okay. So we have to get it back in for ourselves. But we can arrange that. So we had to pause the interview for a minute to take a look at the content on the wall. Of course, pictures and verses. Uh, we had to take a look at the gallery. Then, lunch was served. A taste of Mr. Morgan's all natural blem up, blem up. Right before we tasted one of Jamaica's biggest exports white rum, of course. Mr. Ray and Navy is in the building. Cheers! And of course, music. How can I possibly see a keyboard and not touch it? Then Mr. Morgan, hold the tune. Jonathan came in and joined. Bishop is to bring unity, right. inspire unity. Right. I went to the Ethiopian Orthodox Coptic Church of North and South America, mm. 1998, and I baptized myself and eight of my children and my wife. Right. Baptized at the Ethiopian Orthodox Coptic Church of North and South America. Based on how we conduct ourselves as a family, mm. after the baptism musically, Mm -hmm. The Abuna, Abuna Nathaniel, Joshua, Shiloh, mm -hmm. Salim, look at us and say, Y'all are like the band of Asaph. I see the spirit of the band of Asaph. Mm -hmm. And I went and checked who was Asaph. Asaph was one of the Levite brethren amongst David, King David. And he is the one that David gave the authority to bring praise and worship into mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. Cause it was always the worship, but that other praises, the clapping the hands and the playing the instrument. King David brought that mm -hmm. to the temple right. with the work of Asaph. So my children and I took it as a blessing, mm -hmm. and we moved with that. Mm -hmm. I established a ministry in the church called Asaph Ministry. Mm -hmm. Morgan Heritage was baptized with I. Mm -hmm. and their mothers. Mm -hmm. So we've been living that born again mm -hmm. life, trying to mm -hmm. reach to the spirituality of our ancient forefathers mm -hmm. without the contamination within the gospel. Mm -hmm. We try to live according to the purity where we know say, if we are going to love God, we have to love each other. Mm -hmm. If we're going to be true to God, we have to be true to each other. Gotcha, gotcha. As the example of our liberty. Mm -hmm. That's the fullness of the work spiritually in Harlem. Right. Now there are the Queen Mothers of Harlem. Mm -hmm. Mother Blakely and Mother Pitts and Mother Jordan and Queen Mother Moore. Mm -hmm. I have done some work amongst those okay. Queen Mothers right. in terms of unity. Mm -hmm. There's a lot more mm -hmm. what you call events mm -hmm. 
-hmm. that have been a part of even with the Ethiopian World Federation right. and with the Naya Bingi House and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the community within Harlem and the Bronx and Brooklyn, mm -hmm. I have put a lot of energy into mm -hmm. the humanity. Right. So just like uh, Claude McKay and Marcus Garvey, this week Dead Roy Morgan is letting let us know that he's a great contributor in the Harlem movement uh, into repatriation, of course, and into the unity of uh, people on the whole. And Absolutely. black people. Now tell us, Mr. Morgan, um, the Morgan Heritage, are they living the same lifestyle as you? Or are they, uh, are they subscribing to your way of... Um, Their fate, mm -hmm. the lifestyle, I cannot say they dress like me all the time, mm -hmm. or they wear their banner when there's a spiritual mission because mm -hmm. I wear my banner because that's my uniform as a member of the 12 tribes of Israel, which I always will be. Right. Cha -cha. Right. So in terms of their faith, yes. Okay. Their faith is the same okay. as my faith. Tell us about your involvement with them. Uh, first, let me ask you, is 30 of them, are you in touch with the 30 of them or, or no? You... Yes. Okay, so you keep a good bond with everybody. Absolutely. Certainly. Um, now, their musical career, as you know, and as we all know, has reached a certain level. Of course, they just got a Grammy. Uh, you know, um, a few months ago. Now, tell us about your involvement in that. How do you think you, was it your specific way you, you kind of raised them up? Tell us about how you kind of drew them into becoming that. I raised them up with prayer mm -hmm. as a way of life. Right. I raised, I raised them up with a consciousness of wanting to thirst and seek the righteousness of God. Love and respect one another. Mm -hmm. The younger, must respect the older and the older must protect the younger. Mm -hmm. Those principles and I had great women mm -hmm. as their mother. Because right. their mother always showed them mm -hmm. to take the training of their father. Mm -hmm. And she nurtured the principle, mm -hmm. the discipline, mm -hmm. she did the moral values. Mm -hmm. The ethical principles, mm -hmm. she disciplined them with that and maintained that when I am not home, I was in New York mm -hmm. and something went wrong in Massachusetts, mm -hmm. a child misbehaved right. and the mother could say, don't make me call on the father too, you know, <laughs> yeah. and I'm in New York uh, uh, yes. and it make a difference, fix the, problem, the conduct of the child changed right, right, right. because the influence was there right, right. and the mother support that. Right. Okay, I'm going to ask you a question. No, no. So that's why you see the result. Well, that's why you see now in being so great. Uh, now, which of them think that they're the favorite? I'm gonna need they're all favorites. No, no, but which one of them think that, not, not what you think, you know, but which one of them you think that they're the favorite? I don't think anything they are the favorite. The, okay, okay. I think it would be a better question to say, which one you think want to be more <laughs> like I, you? No, no, no. Which one you think want to be the favorite? <laughs> All of them. All of them. All of them. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I, I think Morgan Heritage over the years um, have become so great. And a lot of people, including myself back in the day, I used to think that they were born in Jamaica. You know? yes. It's after years uh, of getting involved um, in the business, I realized that they're actually from here. Yeah. They're from Brooklyn. I the mystical trade off that with. Jara Stafari, within I and I musical journey. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm a Jamaican band. Yes. But my biggest music yeah. is an American music. Right, right. Morgan Heritage is American band, and their biggest music is it's, Jamaican. It's music. And you see what happened? Like, a lot of people sometimes think that for you to become an icon in reggae and dance hall, you have to live in Jamaica. But it's a misconception because I think your life is an example, and of course, Morgan Heritage who their culture is Jamaican, but they're from here. I right. know uh, we've seen that they've become so great. And with you, with that monster, I'll do everything for you, uh, it's, it's just, tell us about that song. I, I just want to, you know, as we talk about I'll do anything for you, there's a long history there between me and the Black Eagles and Bert Reed, the writer and the producer of that song, mm -hmm. being involved with me from Crown Eyes of Fear, right. May his soul rest in peace. Mm -hmm. but, that song was what you'll call a stepping stone for me, Jaja, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. to give me the confidence that my journey musically should continue. Right. It was an encouragement. 
was a gift from the Almighty. That after the Black Eagles went through our changes, I saw the next generation in my children, Morgan Heritage. Mm -hmm. And from 1984, I put my career on hold. I was signed to RCA Records mm -hmm. at the time, mm -hmm. historical sign. Mm -hmm. And I saw that the last tour I did with Johnny Taylor, I just decided that I'm going to put more time into my children because I saw the future in them. Right. And uh, by me doing that, I was able to embark upon other things, how to become a manager, how to become a producer, how to become an executive producer, mm -hmm. and to learn the intricateness of the business, right. and to be able to pass on that knowledge to them, mm -hmm. and how to become a minister, and how to become mm -hmm. associated with the different religion and the different a denomination them and get that experience that today mm -hmm. I can be here and say mm -hmm. I'm a bishop of the International Gospel Helpers Church. Right, I'm the ambassador of the Ethiopian Orthodox Coptic Church. Certainly. And I am a member of the 12 tribes of Israel, mm -hmm. Chacha, and I'm a member of the American Clergy Leadership Conference. Certainly. So with that journey is why I have to really come with a ministry mm -hmm. because all of them have no problem with me. Right. But all of them have a problem with each other. <laughs> so if I stay committed to anyone and not recognizing God in everyone, right. then I get stuck. Yeah, for real, that's right. That's you see right. what I'm saying? Right. Right. So what I'm doing now, mm. I am free mm -hmm. to express mm -hmm. what God put in me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now I vibration mm -hmm. forever. Rastaman vibration. Cha -cha. Naturally. The Bobo Shanti priesthood right. forever. Mm -hmm. The Melchizedek Ahada. The right. 12 tribes of Israel forever. Mm -hmm. The Christian community worldwide. Mm -hmm. The Jewish community. We want them to be no more Jewish but become Judah. Right. Unless reason right. as Judah. Because it is written right. that Judah shall die virgin praise. Right. So let's reason. Right. Rastafari. Actually, you mentioned that you have um, 30 children. How many grandchildren? It's over 90 now. The last time it was 92. And, 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 and no. I, I'm, I'm going to challenge Mr. Morgan at this week on JSV TV to give me 20 names of his grandkids. It's, it's 90 grandkids you now. Yeah. And I want 20 real fast. Of of what? Grandkids yeah. or kids? No, no, kids, grandkids. We're going to start with grandkids first. I want 20 names of, of your 90 grandkids. Let's go. Jimmy A. Ayana. Naomi. Then Ramagan the third. Uh, uh, um, Munsi. Uh, Jabari. Ruben. Salaya, Salaya, Salaya. Uh, yeah, uh, uh. We're gonna start with We're gonna start with We're gonna start with Ninety grandkids and yeah. thirty kids. Uh, wow. So to run them off to say, if I did have my desire, mm -hmm. where all of us live in the same area mm -hmm. as I had intended mm -hmm. when I went to Jamaica, mm -hmm. then everybody would end up in one yard. And the name would have become more frequent, but when I remember now, yes, yes, if yes. I remember Jamaica, I so remember yeah, Florida, I remember Atlanta, I oh. remember New York, I yes. remember California. Yes. So it won't take a little time. Right. Yeah. Tell us, uh, Mr. Morgan, about your music. Now we've seen yeah. that you you relaunch um, for the Bob Morris and Peter's um, song. Yeah. Uh, tell us about it. You, well, the... Get Up Stand Up was the first single mm -hmm. from the album, mm -hmm. Musical Unity. Right. It have done very well. Right. And my reason for using that song, because it's two Bob Marley songs mm -hmm. I record. One written by Bob Marley with some of Curtis Mayfield, which is one love, mm -hmm. and one written by Bob and Peter. Mm -hmm. In Get Up Stand Up, I heard a message to the preachers. Mm -hmm. Preacher man don't tell me heaven is under the earth. Because mm -hmm. I know you don't know what life is really worth. Mm -hmm. It's not all that glitter is gold, and half the story has never been told. But now, when you see the light, stand up for your right. Well, I and I are one who see the light. Wow. And when I heard that, that was one of the most striking lyrics to me, right. for me to cover. Right. And one love, I believe that there is no more love but the divine love. Wow. Whether it's for your car, for your mother, for your daughter, for whatever, it's the divine love. 
Mm. True love. It has to be true love. Mm. Oh. An enlightened bishop, then Roy Morgan, the great songwriter, producer, and now a great advocate for the black movement. He's on Facebook TV this week to give us the whole shenanigans and everything. <laughs> mm. Yeah, well, you, you dig up quite a few things. Right. And uh, I freely give it to the public that it can be an inspiration right. to others who want to do better than average. Cha cha. And without God, you can only be average. Right. Cha cha. So we want to really inspire parents mm -hmm. to find oneness with children, right. children to find oneness with parents. Oh. Neighbors to find oneness with each other. Nations to find oneness with each other. <laughs> and then we will have a better world. We don't have right. to build weapons because fear. We right. conquer fear. Right. Because it's fear why all these weapons are being built and why the leaders are threatening each other and playing games with the life of people. You know, they the, the look at people like Hans. Cha-cha. Mm. When you look at what's going on with the leaders of the world and the, 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 the kind of argument they're having with each other mm -hmm. about war and rumors of war, right. when you look at it, they're playing games right. with the life of people. Oh. So I and I just want, when I want to know that this is a time when we have to come together mm -hmm. as children of God right. and put religion aside. Well, this is your boy Jerry McDonald and I'm encouraging you to subscribe to our channel, follow us on YouTube, Follow us for all your Caribbean and American entertainment. On our platform, we view entertaining lifestyles. So follow us, subscribe, hit the button.